Welcome to the video, my friends. Today, we're going to check out Ghost Runner 2. You may remember me checking out Ghost Runner a few years back, and the awesome people over at 505 Games have sent me a copy of Ghost Runner 2 to check out, presumably from my previous coverage. So, yeah, that's, that's really awesome. Let's check out the settings menu. Uh, we got DLSS, FSR, the usuals, latencies. We'll put on boost because that tends to give me some more FPS. So the settings menus aren't too bad. We, we've got the settings you'd all need there, especially DLSS and FSR. So you can get a few more FPS out of your game. But without further ado, let's jump in and see what this one's like. So we're in. We're going to bring up the performance as always. Look at that FPS. Looks like we had a bit of a loading frame time spike there but oh my god yeah for epic at 1440p with no dlss <laughs> this runs really there we go got another little spike there okay so we definitely got some spikes i'm not sure if that's because it's still loading as we've only just come in yeah we're getting a load of spikes i guess it's where it's loading the next section of the map though but this looks real good it's not ray traced, it looks like screen space. Is there actually ray trace settings here? Did I miss those? Uh, not here. Um, no, it doesn't have ray trace. That's probably why the performance is so good. But it doesn't need it. It looks good. You're moving too quick anyway to, to be looking at the nice stuff. Woohoo! Oh god, I've missed this. Yeah, was, the first game was so good. Oh, we can do a perfect parry. Oh my god, we just popped his melon. You're in my what world now. <laughs> a million dollar question, Jackie. Best case scenario, make some threats, shake us down. Worst case scenario, blow this whole joint sky high. Problem is, ever since the Zaramon character took over, the hammers have changed. Yeah, we're getting loads of spikes. It's every time it's loading a new section of map, it seems to do that. And for those that don't remember the first Ghost Runner, if you get hit, you're dead. You can't get hit at all. you got to use your ninja abilities to not get hit. Just like that. So it's super epic. But you've also really got to think and plan out your moves. And it's made for speed running. Got him. So those frame times are really bad when it's loading the next section. Let's try putting DLSS on and put it on ultra performance. Let's see if that gets rid of uh, any of these stars we're having. Got him. But not had a stutter yet. Keep going. Let's see if uh, next section loading gives us any stutters. But to be honest, DLS is such a kind of miracle piece of tech that it looks better somehow, but gives you more FPS. I still don't get how the AI does that or whatever. You know, it's this. Oh my god, it's so magical. Some kind of oh god voodoo magic judging by the fact he single-handedly butchered all the hammer stop fighters to take control allegedly look the guy can fight and think that's all i need to know to understand he's a threat but don't you worry with our powers combined so yeah with dlss on ultra performance it seems to have got rid of the loading of sections and the frame time issues which is really weird because i had over 200 fps anyway DLSS has just pushed it up towards 300 more, but got rid of that frame time. I don't know. It's weird. No, 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 no. I'm, getting, I'm dying. Got him. Oh my god, that was so, so epic. Ran around the wall there. My what? You know, the grappling hook. Oh no, it did. I spoke too soon. It did some frame time. It was nowhere near as bad as with DLSS off, but it still did it. Can't we secure the reactor remotely? Why did I think of that? No way. No! Oh my god, that oh is mental. Uh, right well, now. we can do it this time. We can do it this time. But your late papa, the architect, made these things network unfriendly. Besides, even 
Oh god. Okay. We got this. Why wasn't the reactor protected? It was. We have five guys guarding the approach. The frame time issues are coming again. Why wasn't the reactor protected? going to be the death of me. Protected. Because of politics. There's nobody can come close to it without all the other factions it's all twitching. This guy one shot it. I thought my keyboard was broke. I just spent like two minutes figuring out why my keyboard was flashing all different colors. I use an Asus ROG scope and it, it works with the game. When I'm alive, it shows WASD highlighted in blue. When I die, the whole keyboard goes red. I just realized that's tied to the game. And now, now yeah, I've respawned. Now it's gone back to no lights except for WASD is all blue. What the hell, man? That's the first game I've noticed does that. so panicked then I thought my Asus keyboard had given up the ghost. Can I go around this way and smush? Shit. Done it. <laughs> I'm going in. You do that. That said, it's okay once you're in an actual level. It's just between levels. It seems to do it. Wait, what the heck? Oh, I gotta go over there. I'm pretty sure I said it with Ghost Runner 1. It makes you feel like a badass. And this still does it. You still feel like a super cybernetic ninja that's just kicking ass. So, they've nailed it. Again, with two. Ooh, what's going on here? Let us begin. May blades reach what hands fail to grasp. May mind pierce the darkness where eyes failed. So unnecessary. Let him. He made it happen. May will overcome where flesh and steel stumbled. Okay. I know this doesn't look good, but I've got over 50 guys on the way. Just hang in there. Don't let them leave. What do you want me to do? I don't know. Just stall for time. May a new kindred rise where its fathers perished. May we be free at long last. Well, oh, that can't be good. May we be free. What the heck? Oh, you don't know who you're messing with. I played a Souls game. Are you even trying, number? I close my eyes, but then I wouldn't know you were hitting me. You cannot stop us. Whoa. Well, I was winning. The fight's not over. Bro. Who are you? An ally. Good. Oh! oh, right in the face. Oh, what the heck? Oh, crap. I couldn't find the thing. Oh, I gotta be quicker than that in the morning. Whoa, that was close. Oh my god, something touched me. Got him! Oh! And I got a new sword. Easy. Easy. First time. It's over. Forgive not this one's weakness, or he is not worthy. But through the sacrifice. Carry forth the vengeance of the usher up. May we be free. Well, that that was pretty epic. That was a good good fight. I enjoyed that. Ah, there we go. That's the sword skin I unlocked. Look for killing that boss. Nice. Looks like we got a few we can unlock. So I've got to go talk to another dude. I'll leave it there though.
This uh, seems to be the leader of my group. And uh, yeah, not too bad. Pretty, pretty, other than the frame timing issues, but uh, it doesn't seem to be too bad when you're actually in the action. It's just between sections it seems to happen more than anything. And with DLSS on, it's far less noticeable. It was terrible with DLSS off. It, it pretty much locked the game up for a split second. But let me know your thoughts if you've played Ghost Runner 2. As it's out now, I'll leave a link in the description below for the Steam page to go check it out yourselves. So I'd say other than the frame timing issues that I've been getting, can't really fault it. It's the uh, same as the first one, just more of. So do let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to continue to see the content I create. Oh, and also you can now become a channel member. So if you want to support me even more in the content I create, you can now subscribe to be a channel member for a small fee and uh, get some emotes and things, I think, and priority in chat and uh, get your comment noticed and things like that. So, of course, it's not expected from anybody to do that. But if you do, I really, really do appreciate it. But most of all, thank you for watching and I'll see you peeps next time.